Hi, my name is Michael Yosley, and I'm with Group 3. Today we are doing the XFLR5 project, where we are analyzing a NACA 0012 airfoil and then exporting the data. As you can see here in the background, I have the XFLR5 program pulled up. I will also put the link down in the description to download this program. It's free to download, so you can do your own analysis on these. So first thing we do is we go to module. We're going to pull up XFOIL direct analysis. Now we've got it in the op point view. We want to change this into the polar view, which is what we're going to use for our analysis. And you go to designs, NACA foils. Now this one has a catalog of NACA airfoils already in it. We're doing the 0012 airfoil. and then we're going to put test one. Now it populates over here, it pulls up down here. You can tell by the NACA number that this is a symmetric airfoil as the first two digits are zero pertaining to the max camber and the location of the max camber with the last two digits are the thickness. So we have that pulled up, click on analysis, we will define the analysis, set this to user defined, and change the name to Reynolds, we're doing 100,000 as our Reynolds number, I'm sure that says 100,000, we'll click OK, now that's got our test pulled up right there. We go over here and we make sure that we have this set from negative 5 to 20 degrees. We click Analyze. That's going to pull up a window. Basically just counts down your, your residuals until you get to your final answers. And pull up the polar view again to see all these graphs. As you can see, we've got our coefficient of lift over coefficient of drag, coefficient of lift, alpha, coefficient of lift and drag over alpha, coefficient of drag, alpha. And if you want to export this data so that you can put it in a, a neater graph, you want to right click on this, current graph, you can export graph. I've already done this, so I've got this saved like that. So we'll change this to two. But usually the default is comma separated values. It'll be easier to use in Excel if you just do it as a .txt file, text file. So you save that. And this is what it's going to look like once it saves that file. And you can just import these numbers into Excel. Get a little nicer, neater graph that you can edit a little bit more. So that's it for the NACA 0012 airfoil. As you can see, the XFLR5 program is very simple to use. Do very quick analysis of the NACA airfoils. All right, thank you very much.